Now it's letting me click it and I can see the request, but I need Janelle to just come in there. All right, guys. So we're back. So I'm back again telling y'all the same thing again, which is I'm supposed to be Janelle. getting Janelle Stevens, the owner of Camille Rose on here so we can talk about some hair care, some edges and some hair growth is what we want to talk about. Okay. Um... So I'm waiting on her to come on so we can join. Oh, I love you too. You're so sweet. Um, let me see. Nope, not yet. How y'all doing today? Are y'all are y'all practicing social distancing? Tell the truth. Keep it a honey. <laughs> you need to be. Jesus. Can she stop texting me? What up, Selassie? How you doing? Okay. I'm waiting on her to come in. Anyway, so I, people was asking me questions about Frost Bistro, about Prest, about all of that. So the Prest in Atlanta and the Prest in Houston are closed temporarily right now until, um, you know, things change out here. And um, Frost Bistro is closed as well. Um, hopefully, you know, yes, but thank God you're still working. Amen to you, honey. <laughs> um, hopefully, you know, things will be back to normal soon. I think this has been extremely devastating for like everybody. So real talk is a hot mess. Um, I love you so much too. Thank you. You're so sweet. I'm trying. Hey, Nigeria is in the building, honey. That's what I'm talking about. So yeah, basically, um, we just got to wait it out and see what happens and try to stay as safe as we can, stay in the house, practice the social distancing like we've been doing, and hopefully we can, you know, get past this whole crazy situation. I love you, too, from Jamaica. You need a store in New York. Hmm. Hey, what are they doing in Jamaica? Are they on lockdown? Hey, is Jamaica on lockdown? I see some people in here from Jamaica. Are y'all on lockdown or nah? How do I stay committed to working out? <laughs> I fall off just like everybody else. <laughs> um, we finna talk about the hair products. So no, don't cut it off. You probably don't have to. Like if it's like extremely damaged, you may want to do that and then get on the, the road of, you know, like healthy hair and trying to get your build your hair up to be strong. Hold on, I think I got Camille coming. Camille Rose coming in. Okay. She was unable to join. Let's try that again. Come on, Janelle. Not still ain't work. I love you too. Thank you, Nisi. Two oh, what is it? 220. Um, let's try it again. Oh, you work ER in Atlanta? Oh my goodness. Blessings to you. Stay strong, stay focused, and thank you for like all your hard work. He's saying unable to join. So I don't know what they got going on with Camille Rose. I'm trying to talk about some natural hair stuff with y'all. Houston, Texas is in this thing. I can't. I know Camille Rose is in here, but when I click you, it's not. It's not bringing you in. This is whack. <laughs> the hats I be wearing, it's at Keith and James. So you had to check that out. Brazil is in the building. Dang, you work the ER in Dallas. How is it in Dallas? How are y'all doing? Stay safe. Thank you. Many blessings to all of y'all. And thank you for all your hard work. Okay. Uh, go live. Let's go. Come on. Let's talk about some hell. I'm waiting on Janelle to come Okay, on. got it. There got we it. go. Hey, you hear me? We yes. did it. <laughs> oh, my God. Jeez. That, that was a process. Let me see. Can y'all hear us okay? I can hear you great, finally. Okay, good. Hey, girl. Hello. Oh, how are you? Good. How are you? Um, good. I'm good. We should be in the live right now. We just I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> are y'all staying safe? 
Everybody, uh, there's some people in here that work the ER that says they're, they've are they been working hard and people from Brazil and Jamaica and all over the place, Africa. So hopefully we can get them some good hair tips. Yes, y'all make sure, y'all stay safe and thank you to everybody, all the healthcare workers. And as long as we just stay on lockdown together, the sooner we stay on lockdown together, we'll get through this. Yes, I agree. But anyway, thank you. Thank you for getting on a live with the brand, Camille Rose. Thank you for your viewers. Um, I'm excited about this. Me too. We are here to answer all any natural hair questions you guys have. Okay, what about hair tips for brothers? Because we, what, oh, I missed it. Hold on, what did he say? Because we need haircuts right about now. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Well, for guys, just let it grow out and what? Rock a, a twist your hair, rock a twist out, or wash and go. I know that's Wear your hair curly in your natural state. Put some of that curl maker on that thing. That and curl maker. <laughs> some curls will be old. Curl maker. <laughs> yep, that's a curl definer. Let me grab it. Okay. Curl maker. Wash and go curl maker. You can use it for a twist out. And a braid out, guys and girls. Yes. But listen, what's what's the number one question you always get? <laughs> Me? Yes. What do I use on my hair? What do you use on your hair and why? People are so surprised because your hair is so long and pretty. Yes. Why do you wear a protective style? Well, because one thing about the business that I'm in is I'm always constantly working and with Love and Hip Hop being always filming and doing different things like that, I find myself not wanting to put all of that heat and stuff on my hair all the time. Now, let me tell y'all a funny story. My first season of Love and Hip Hop, the very first season, if y'all ever go back and look at that, that was my natural hair, like when we did all of our confessionals and I didn't wear any wigs or anything. I had never wore a wig at that time. Child, by the time I got down almost halfway through because I wore my hair pressed straight. By the time I got halfway through the season, I pressed out my entire curl pattern. Yeah. I had no more curly hair. And I was yeah. like, what? I am over it. I was like, I got to figure something out and I got to figure it out fast. Right. So um, that ended up happening. And um, I was like, it's got to be a better way to, to, to take care of your hair but still be able to like switch it up all the time and do different things. So that's what made me decide to start you know, doing different protective styles, which I love now because if I want to be red one day, blue one day, yellow one day, whatever I want to do, I can, you know, my hair girl, Tiana, she can make a, a unit for me and I can just switch it up as much as, as much as I want to. So it's, it's, that's the reason why. So underneath, underneath. So, uh, Right, and so it's so important to keep your hair, your real hair, underneath your protective style, moisturize, right? Moisturize, condition. So normally I'll go three or four weeks um, before I get like a fresh braid down. So normally what I do is with my wigs, I take them off every night. I don't keep wigs on my head all the time. Every single night I take my wigs off. So I'll use the drops in between. I'll do, first of all, before I even get a braid down, I get a shampoo, a deep conditioner. I love the Moroccan De Pair. It's an amazing detangler. And for somebody like me, a lot of times when you wear your hair braided up all the time and you take your braids out, it can be tangly. So I, I shampoo with, of course, your shampoo. <laughs> and um, Yes. And then I use the pear um, conditioner which is an amazing detangler. And then I'll use the, um, the is it Curl Love leave-in? Curl Love Moisture Milk, yes. Yes, that leave-in. And then I'll use um, just the, I'll do the drops, which sometimes if I'll put, I'll put that around the edges, period, before I mm -hmm. even start, um, mm -hmm. get a blowout and then get it braided. And then that's pretty much what I do. Braid it up and then I do the drops. And then every night, every night or every other night, depending on how crazy my nights are, I'll do the drops. And right. then I just sleep with a bonnet, wake up, put my wig on, whatever style I want, and keep it moving. And you said the braid down last five weeks? I wear them about 
some it's three to five kind of depending on me if i'm working out a lot i'll take it out and get it you know shampooed and and treated but mm -hmm. for the most part i can go about four weeks before i even get a fresh spray down so like this these faux locks that i have mm -hmm. this is going on month four and oh, wow. out four months and i was supposed to take these out but right and so now i'm stuck with them but um while i've been having these locks curl love has been my safe savior because i've been putting it on my new girl mm -hmm. as well as like the grow back that drops like every month every night i've just been using this right well it looks good and people on here asking questions like how do you sweep your edges i don't know how to sweep edges Girl, I know I just got these thick old sideburns, child. I'll be trying to keep them tight. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, she said, Rashida, what are you supposed to do with your hair? What well, some serums? Okay, so every dermatologist dermatologist that I brought my kids to would tell me to make sure I was label reading everything right and um so I did that like I remember myself being in Target stores googling some of the ingredients that was on products that said they were organic and was floored to find out what the ingredients really meant so um I told my husband that you know I said I'm just gonna make everything myself. Mm -hmm. um, you know how when you start having kids, you become super mom. Right. So <laughs> that's what I did. I just uh, researched ingredient after ingredient, started formulating stuff in my kitchen, throwing it away if I didn't like it, start over, giving it to family and friends, and then they started asking for more products. So I said, well, let me throw up a website and see how this goes. So. Uh, so listen, people want to know the full name of the drops, and then they also want to know if they order from the website, how long is it going to take for them to get their products? Because of... Right. So normally, yes. So it's Rejuva Drops. It's Grow Back Rejuva Drops. So if you go to CamilleRose.com and you search Rejuva Drops, they'll come up. Normally, it's a two-day uh, shipping process, but it's taking a little longer now. Uh, probably about five days at the most. Okay. Yeah. Some it but was a young lady on here. I missed yeah. her. What she said. She said, um, "Being TT, she said, may I please ask what helps with shedding? My hair has been shedding a lot lately. Every yeah. time I have a, my hand in my hair, she's pulling out hair. Um, so let's give her." a product that she can use for okay for so shedding. if your hair is shedding like that i'm going to suggest that you do a trim and as long as you're not having any issues internal issues um the algae renew deep conditioner it is made with the blue green algae vitamin i don't know if you guys can see that oh yeah. you see those green specks yeah that's the see. actual algae vitamin in there and blue green algae what it does is it stops the hair from breaking, shedding, and thinning on contact. So on, on my website, uh, we have like this little growth bundle, which comes with the, the, the deep treatment, the oil, the cocoa nibs, growth serum, and then the grow back drops. You get all, all of this together. But um, if you're experiencing shedding, definitely get a trim. Use your deep control conditioner not just a regular deep conditioner a treatment deep conditioner use that every week until you get your hair to where it needs to be okay we have another young lady a taste of caramel she's like what about detangling i suffer from tremendous tangling i have long i have long super thick curly hair mm. and every product i've tried does not help i'm gonna tell you that moroccan what is it the pear, moroccan pear conditioning yes. that conditioner i promise you my son i don't know if y'all just saw carter but he has a really tight curl and it's really draws up but he has a whole lot of hair and when i put that conditioner on his hair i can comb through his entire head but and what she should do as well is um i don't know if they've heard of free pool have you heard of free pool uh -uh. you do that so you can before you even put water on your hair wet your hair get in the shower to wash your hair use an oil 
right? And detangle right. with the oil. So take the oil, put it in your hair, and kind of finger detangle. Do not do it with a brush. Or don't do it with a comb because you'll rip your hair out. Mm -hmm. So finger detangle. You can even take, like Rashida said, the conditioner, Moroccan hair. Put that on as well. And then detangle while your hair is dry. It's called pre-point. You're, you're, pre you're doing okay. it before you shampoo. So okay. just spend some time. It depends on how long your hair is. It depends on how thick your hair is. But just take your time before you get in the shower, before you wet your hair, and finger detangle. Go through everything. And then wash that out. Put your shampoo on after that. Then put, after you wash the shampoo out, put more conditioner. And that'll help with uh, detangling and shedding. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they said they never knew it was called pre-poo. Okay, what about the spot at my crown that never seems to curl? How do I get definition there? It'd it be some they, spots they, in the head that don't want to act right. <laughs> yeah, so a lot of times most people have different textures. And some people need cur curl definers. Not everybody got curly hair. Some people got to create their curls, right? Exactly. And you create your curls with a braid out. You create your curls with a twist out. Or you create your curls with... A rod set. It's okay. Just do whatever you have to do to define your curl. Right. Um, some people curls are already defined. They don't have to use a gel. I'm a wash and go girl, but I have to define my curls. Yeah, me too. To make sure my curls last a little longer and look curlier. And that's why they call gels curl maker. This is a gel, but it's it's a curl definer. Now, if you don't have curly hair is not just going to make your hair make curly. Make your curls appear. <laughs> yeah. It's going to define the pattern that you already have. But that's okay. If you don't have curly hair, you can make your curls by braid out. Do a braid out, put a rod at the end, let it air dry. Then the next day, take your rod out and then don't comb your, your, your braids. But once you take your braids out, don't put a comb in it. Just finger it out. Finger detangle and then let it go. And then you'll have a curl pattern that way. Exactly. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, what other questions we got? Ball spot in the middle, definitely use the, the Rejuva Drops. This treatment, grow back for any ball spots that you have. As long as your follicles are healthy. If your follicles are not healthy, then nothing will grow your hair. But if your follicles are healthy and, and, and your hair can still grow in that area, area then the Grow Drops will work, work on that, as well as, like, the growth serum. The, they're saying that the Rejuva Drops are sold out on the website. Are, when y'all restocking those? They should have been restocked. I thought they were restocked. They go so fast, y'all, I promise. Like, we can't keep those in stock. And um, did y'all see the Madam C.J. Walker movie? I actually watched it yesterday. <laughs> so we did. I branded this big tribute to her where we recreated her, her photos uh, from back in the day. And then I recreated this product called the Wonderful Hair Grower, which was the same product, her very first product. So oh, wow. on the release of her movie, look, I've been using it like crazy. Okay. On the release of her movie, I released it, this um this old-fashioned hair grease. I kind of cleaned it up a little bit. It has sulfur in it. Sulfur was the main ingredient in her product, and I kind of kept some other ingredients. Mm -hmm. And I can't keep that one in stock either. Yeah, because I don't this have This is it. a good one, yeah. But I'm going to put this one back in stock, and I'm going to check the, uh, the throw back drops, because that should be in stock as well. Okay, so she's going to check that for you guys, and I'm going to be waiting on my Madam C.J. Walker. I got a sentence <laughs> from girl. <laughs> How did I forget? The curl defined in the pump was sold out too. Curl okay, so. ain't been sold out, but y'all can still order. My products are sold at Target. They're sold at Walmart. You can order all those things still online. Uh, Sally Beauty, you can all order all this stuff online as well. Okay, somebody just asked, can I do a hot oil treatment with that oil after the prepo, or should I do a hot oil treatment? only in freshly washed hair no you could do it after you pre-poo after you pre-poo if you want to leave the oil on a little bit sit under the dryer for a little while and then get in the shower and wash it out yes you can okay and know that the curl maker does not leave your hair stiff 
and crunchy. Even if you, it, it shouldn't flake. No gel should flake on that hair as well. If your hair is flaking with the gel, you're either using too much or you need to clarify your hair. You have too much product buildup on your hair. So Somebody, uh -huh. I'm sorry, Fearless Boss was like, my hair is damaged. I have natural hair. What products do you recommend for damaged hair? What, what did she say her hair is what? She says, my hair is damaged. I have natural hair. What products do you recommend for damaged hair? For damaged hair, first of all, if, it, if it's broken, if, if your ends are broken, definitely do not be afraid to trim your ends and get a, a great cut. Don't be afraid of that. You, if you're not, if you're transitioning, you do not have to big chop. That's fine, but you still have to constantly get your ends and cut. It's trimmed, yeah. Yeah, trim. But Oh, we got uh -huh. another good question. Sorry. I'm trying to answer a lot because the people are asking okay, a lot of questions. Okay, any products to help curls stay intact? My hair gets puffy no matter what product I use. What can I use? And this is Pretty Faces Alexa. You can use a definer. If your hair is curly, is that, is that what she said? What did she say? What was the question again? I'm sorry. I'm trying to check that on these. No matter what she do, her hair poof up. She, her curls don't stay intact. Did, she does need to she use, use a, a definer? You need a gel. Yeah, yes. curl maker to help define your curl. Okay, I got another question from, um, what does it say, Spartan Mama? Three. I noticed that Mad Madam C.J. Walker said alcohol was not good for your hair, but I noticed a few of your products have, we don't have what is that, serotonin alcohol? Yeah, and that's not it. That's an emulsifier. That's not the alcohol that you're thinking. That's a conditioning alcohol. So it, it's an emulsifier. So it binds the conditioners and the water together. So all any natural hair product that you use will have cedarol alcohol in it. Yes. Okay. Curly it's a good alcohol. Curly Girl J said, "Are the products available in the UK? Well, that's online. It's worldwide. So." Go to her website and purchase. And then, yes, Curly Girl, we launched Boots. We're at Boots. We're in Boots, UK, which is like a Walgreens and CVS here. So look for us at Boots there, yes. There you go. Okay, let's see what else we got. I have really curly hair, curly tight hair. At first, it's so pretty. And as long as the day goes by, it gets bigger and bigger and bushy. How can I stop the bushiness? I was going to say, keep the bigger and bigger. <laughs> I love big hair. I love big is, hair. But exactly. Listen. Just as long as your curls are not frizzing up. So um, uh, if your curls tend to frizz up and you lose your pattern, then use a definer to help keep that pattern. Yeah. Let me but see. But I love big hair. And then let me say this. Even if your hair is relaxed, you can use our shampoos. You can use our deep conditioners. I encourage you to do that because it's about, it's not about a, a hair type or texture. It's about ingredients. You want to make sure you're using great ingredients that if your body is absorbing these ingredients, they're worry-free. You know what I'm saying? So right. anybody can use it. If you have a perm, you could use it. If your hair is straight, you could use our shampoos or, de or deep treatments. If your hair is natural, definitely use them. Um, somebody's asking what's good for dry and itchy scalp. Then we have, um, or thinning around the edges and back for locks. What are your remedies? Definitely cocoa nibs, a growth serum. You could use this growth serum. It's made with all the Ayurvedic herbs and the amla oils. You could use this, especially for locks on a nightly basis. It is a true oil. Let me tell you. So, um, it, 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 it can be heavy, but just watch how much the amount that you use. Don't open the cap up all the way and then pour it on your hair because it'll be oily. Just open it up a little bit. Um, use it every other night. Just squeeze it on your scalp and kind of massage every other night. And then the Saturday or Sunday, whenever wash day is, just wash it out. Okay. What is 4C hair? 4C. That's a tighter texture hair. Camille Rose, our signature line, which is the pink labels, are all moisture rich. So 4C, love Camille Rose. Definitely okay. give us a try. Yes. Well, that was your answer, Tracy girl. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. 
Let's see here. She said, what can she use them. to get her hair in a thicker state? Mm -hmm. um, with Juva Drops, I just put it back online, so check it. Um, to get your hair in a thicker state, you need to use a great deep conditioner. Algae Renew Deep Conditioner with the Blue Green Algae Mask. Vitamins in there, that should work. Hair isn't growing. My hair is healthy, but for soft thin. Okay, what products for soft thin hair? Coconut water. My coconut water collection. Let me see. This is my coconut water collection. This is for finer hair textures. This is the blue label. It's made with coconut water, so it's hydrating. So just like when you're working out and people drink coconut water to put. Um, to hydrate they, their body, mm -hmm. it's the same uh, in your hair product. So it is infused with real coconut water for extra hydration and is not as heavy as the the signature label. Oh, the this is a label. good question right here. I have really bad dandruff when I wash my hair. It doesn't always feel clean. What do you recommend? So clean rinse or let me tell you, Pre-pull your hair or grease your scalp with this oil for your dandruff because it has the amla oil in it and it has the Ayurvedic herbs. So just use that as, as a treatment. Put that on your scalp, grease your scalp before you wash your hair, get in the shower, leave it on there for about an hour and then go in and wash. And then you have to watch uh, the shampoos that you're using as well. Make sure you're not using shampoos with alcohols in it. Make sure it's a sulfate-free because a lot of times the ingredients in regular shampoos will cause dandruff and will irritate your scalp. And please, y'all, watch the, 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 the product. Don't grab a product because it's $5 or $2. Do not do that because you have to, you have to think, what am I really – what, what do y'all think they're going to give y'all for $2 or $5? What are they going to give y'all? Because they're not going to give y'all the best ingredients at all. So be mindful of that. Like, you're probably like, why do I have this dandruff and what's everything I'm using? Anything I'm using is not working. It's probably because of the product that you're using. So label read your uh, products. Uh, make sure you are, they have ingredients that you know, that you can understand, that you can pronounce. And then uh, choose your products based on that, not on the price. Yeah, I agree with that. Um, let me see. What about oh, what about transitioning relaxed hair? That's a good question. Yeah, that's what I was saying before. Like, so when I transitioned me too. years ago, me too. there uh, my I didn't want to cut my hair. I didn't want a big chop. So what I did was. It was the worst thing. Let me tell you, that was so rough. I was experiencing like a, a, like a sandpaper texture on my new growth. And I knew I was like, remember when, when I was a kid before I had a perm, that was not my texture. So I started researching. It was something called scalp hate. And your scalp need time to heal while you're transitioning so let me tell you it you need to go get an aloe vera plant mm. and keep it in your bathroom or keep it where somewhere where you could just reach for it and use it three times a day break that aloe vera plant and grease your scalp with it to help heal your scalp along with tea tree oil it's mm. called scalp head like a like a scalp was sore like you, you guys could google it but it took me about a good two months of doing that greasing my scalp with aloe vera and using tree tea tree oil before I, my true texture came back okay somebody asked can you intertwine the oil and the rejuva drops and then use it, it together yeah yeah you yes. can use those together okay there's another lady who said um i've got what is it saying scarring alopecia Scarring alopecia to me is... Um, She's saying it's only gotten worse and she needs help. It's yeah. been four years now. Yeah. If it's scarring alopecia, that, mean, that means your follicles are scarred. And I think you should check with your dermatologist on that. Because 
uh, in my research, I don't know, I, outside of just keeping it moisturizing oil, I don't know what could, you know, help there. But check with your dermatologist. I, yes, we was just saying that the drops will be back available on her website. So y'all- They be should be up, y'all. Yep. So people are ordering now, so make sure y'all grab those. I do use that a whole, whole lot. I really like them a lot. Um, how much does it range from? Products range from, what's the... the I got products that start from $8 to 22 Yes, see? Thank you, I appreciate that. <laughs> um, what if you're allergic to aloe? If you're allergic to aloe, stay away from aloe. Yeah, is she, yeah. Is, is she talking about for that scalp head? Don't yeah. use aloe. Yeah, just kind of use the tea tree and then the oil. Mm -hmm, exactly. Just use the oil and, and tea tree oil. Pure tea tree, but you, you want to dilute it with a little water because it's very strong. Any suggestions for shrinkage with yep. all natural hair? Yeah, for shrinkage, if you're a wash and go girl, when you get out of the shower, after you wash out your conditioner, let your hair dry a little bit first. Don't put your product on soaking wet hair. Let your hair kind of halfway dry, then put your product on, and it'll help with shrinkage. If you're not a wash and go girl, do a braid out or a twist out, and it'll help with elongation. Okay. Um, what other questions we got on here? Is there a difference between the Alja Renew and the cholesterol treatment yep so the cholesterol i don't know which one she's cholesterol is a cholesterol tr treatment algae renew has the it's a treatment for uh hair that's breaking shedding and thinning so um cholesterol is like a reviver like if your hair is is lacking luster or if it's lifeless or dry then you may need a cholesterol treatment. And I do recommend naturals use that cholesterol treatment. Um, I know a lot of time when, when, when I transition or when true natural girls, they stay away from cholesterol treatments. But when we had a chemical relaxer, we would get cholesterol treatments. It's still safe to get. We have one. Our brand has one that is we kind of cleaned up the ingredients a little bit. Um, and, and I encourage all natural girls, transitioning girls, to still do your cholesterol treatment. Yes. Heard that. People, they want to ask about, a couple people missed out on the shrinkage. Can you, um, can you repeat what they can do for shrinkage? Yes. So if you are a wash and go girl, so wash and go means you get in the shower, you use your shampoo, your conditioner, and you put your stylus on and you go and you let your hair dry. That's wash and go. So if your hair, if that's what you could do, your curls are defined like that, you like your hair in a wash and go state to help with the shrinkage, let your hair dry more than 50% before you put like your leave-in on top and before you put your definer on. It helps manage the shrinkage. Okay, so it'll be bigger if you do it when your hair is just about dry. If you are a braid out or a twist out girl, you do it the same way, but you just braid your hair when your hair is kind of halfway dry, let it um, sleep in it or let it dry and then take it a loose and then that'll help with shrinkage. So a couple of people on here are asking, so what do you um, recommend for straightening your hair? Straightening your hair, make sure up, up, deep conditioner. When you come out of that um, blowout, make sure you are um, sealing those bonds back together by using a great deep conditioner. Um, put a little, if you're doing it at home, put a little curl up. If your hair is thick, put a little curl up as you're leaving. You don't need a lot. Put it on your a little ends. Bit. Don't weigh your hair down. Yeah, put it on your ends to seal. And then blow if your hair is fine. Coconut water leave-in. Do it the same way. Gotcha. Awesome. Well, we answered a lot of questions, guys. Um, what if you're losing edges? Grow back. Grow back. And then what can be used to grow your edges? Grow back. What does she recommend for men hair loss? 
the same. It's the same. same. Like, yeah, mm-hmm. products don't it, products don't have a gender. It's the same. Amen. Um, somebody said, what can make your hair grow back from wearing wigs and not taking them off? Take them off and do a treatment and take care of your natural hair and then put them back on. Because if you're just wearing those wigs, you're not taking care of your natural hair. And that's important. If you're going to wear the wigs, you need to take care of the hair underneath the wigs. That's what I was going to say. Like, why do some people who wear wigs, hair is like messed up underneath, but your hair is flourishing and beautiful underneath? Because it's important for them to make sure that regardless to the, just like getting a new wig or just like doing all of that, you've got to take care of your hair. You shampoo, you do a, a, you can do a deep conditioner if you want. You can use the algae treatment if you want to. Just, you have to make sure that you take out the time to do a really good thorough shampoo, a really, really good deep conditioner. And then prior to me getting a braid down, I make sure I put in a really, really good leave-in which is what's important. I use the curl love because I have curly hair and it keeps it moist. And then I do the rejuva drops throughout my braids. So I always, anytime I wear a wig, my hair is braided down. And cause I feel like that's, that's the best way to do it and to keep my hair healthy. And I don't do tight braids. You know, sometimes you'd be like, I need my braids to be tight to secure my wig, depending on how you, to make sure my wig is um, laying flat and this, and they need to be like this, but they ain't gotta be tight. Right. So just be careful with that too. And people say, how often should you deep condition? I mean, it depends on how you're wearing your hair. What do you suggest? Somebody like me, I deep condition, you know, once every, you know, three or four weeks, but that's because I'm wearing wigs most of the time. When I wear my hair out natural like this, I may shampoo once every week and a half or two, but I'll, when I get in the shower, I'll put a conditioner on, rub through my hair, rinse it out, and then put in a leave-in and then th- do my little bun or do my little back bun or wear my natural curls. I don't right. over shampoo because for my hair, it dries it out. So I do make sure I always put in a good conditioner and I always put in a leave-in. Right. And that's the difference. Some people get lazy when they wear wigs. They just like throw the wigs on and be like, I'm good to go. But you got to maintain your hair underneath. Yeah, you do. And that's the thing, though. Well, we got to realize, because I see a couple of people in here talking about, then you go bald and all kind of stupid stuff. No, it's just simple. Like, it's, it's just a little bit of work. Shampooing your hair and deep condition, it takes 15 minutes. You know, it doesn't take a whole, whole lot of time. It takes 15, 20 minutes. I'm a working mom. I'm busy all the time. But when it comes time to shampoo and condition, take out the time to do it. Don't comb your hair all crazy. You know, part your hair, section it off, take your time, comb it through, get the, put the right products, invest in the right products. And I think Camille Rose products are absolutely amazing. I'm a product junkie. So I try stuff all the time. I know good products and those leave-ins, that detangler, I'm telling you, because I have a problem with detangling my hair and my son's hair. And I absolutely love it. So I just think, you know, you got to get educated on understanding your hair. Mm-hmm. And it just takes time to figure out what product does work well for your hair. Yeah. And don't be afraid to buy products and try them. Um, it's just a matter of, especially when you're transitioning, trial and error. You have to find something that works for your hair, your hair texture, and you have to find a style that works for you. If a wa- if you're not a wash and go girl, if you're not a curly girl, that is fine. Create your own curls. You can do it by braid outs, twist outs, and rod sets. Lavender well, but- edge gel, that's my edge. That's oh. what I have for edges. This is the lavender collection. Oh, that's nice. And then I'm gonna, um. Let me tell you, somebody asked about a protein treatment. I was about to just say, they asked about a protein treatment, and they asked about... That's our protein. Yeah. Mangaya okay. Subaki Strength and Restore Protein Treatment. Okay, y'all got that? Website is CamilleRose.com. So yep. that's where you can go and purchase all of those products. Somebody says, frontals take your edges out. I wouldn't know because I've never wore one. I wear closures, but yes, I know a lot of girls who wear frontals and they take out their edges. So you need to go to Camille Rose and get you some <laughs> some stuff for your edges to grow them babies back. Cause I've seen that happen to a lot of girls and I'm totally sorry. I just put the drop hold on. She's putting the drops that sold out. I'm putting the drops in stock. They in stock. Y'all try it again. 
But somebody was saying that these locks, um, that I have these faux locks, look fresh. And I just, I'm going to just show y'all real quick how I maintain these locks really quickly, y'all. Mm -hmm. Because. They do look good, though. <laughs> they do look fresh. <laughs> and they not. When I tell you, I had them since December. So I take Curl Up, right? Mm -hmm. And I just put, I don't know if y'all can see that. And then make sure you're putting that on like your real hair to keep your hair your real hair moisturized because mm -hmm. you want to moisturize your new growth and then i just come back on top with my drops every night when i'm in my bed and then i just use these drops on my scalp and that's all i do of course i put i use my um lavender egg but that's it but as soon as this locked down, okay. we pinned it already, didn't we? Huh? And no, these somebody asked if these locks are heavy. They're not. They're weightless. Weightless full locks. There it goes. I pinned it too, so they can get it. We'll get to it. Um, any other questions, guys? Products for three C curls. Yeah, we have oh, products. Oh, I love the products. Um, for my 3C curls. They work wonders. Okay. Yep. Coconut water collection. Okay. Thank you. So we're at Target. We're at Walmart. We're at Whole Foods. You can order us on uh, Amazon. Um, our website. What did I say? Sally Beauty. Um, CamilleRose.com. Yep. Everywhere. And we'll take one more question, which I think is a good one. And they're saying more tips for dry hair. Oh, uh, when you experience Camille Rose products, anything in this pink label, we're very moisture rich. So that'll help with your dryness. The name of the detangler is Moroccan Pear. Moroccan Pear Conditioning Treatment. That's it. But let me let me tell y'all too about shampooing too. So if you use um, a, a great shampoo, a sulfate free shampoo, because a lot of times people experience dryness because they have alcohol in their shampoo and they just buying like some cheapy shampoo and using it and and thinking it's all good. So don't do that. Make sure you are label reading your products. Um, they said Curlmaker is sold out. Curlmaker is sold out on CamilleRose.com, but go to Target.com. They have it there. Target.com. Um, but if you're using like um, moisture rich or shampoos that are that have high oil levels, that'll help you guys with your dryness. So, um, cleanse the milks we just released uh, at Target and at CVS. Go use this. Go buy this Neroli Blossom. It helps with elongation. Definitely try that for um, for dryness. And they're cream-based cleansers. So you'll see a difference. Once, once you start using those products in our signature label, you'll see a difference with dryness in your hair. Yes, ladies. So we hope that was some good information for you guys. I think we are, we've answered pretty much most of you guys' questions. Yep. Anything? We'll do this again. I pinned the, um, the website so you can go to um, CamilleRose.com um, and go to the website and just take a look at all the products, read the descriptions underneath and grab what you think you need for your hair, darlings. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, Rishi. Y'all be safe. No, thank you, guys. And I'll be doing more lives, guys. Please believe it. Information and fun. So we'll be back soon. And thank All you, right. Janelle. Thank you. Y'all be safe. All right. Peace, y'all. All right. Bye.